It's Dr. C, and today we will be going over some probability and going through several of the scenarios provided and ranking them from most likely to happen to least likely to happen, um, starting with winning the lottery. So um, as a recap, we know the probability of an event is the number of favorable outcomes divided by the total number of outcomes. So um, when it comes to winning the lottery, it says that if the six numbers on the lottery ticket match the six numbers drawn, then you win however much money. Um, the numbers can range from one to 49. So we have very slim chance of getting that correct. So we do we can do a simple permutation, which it pretty much puts us at one shot to get it perfect, divided by 49 um, P6, which essentially gives us this large number here. So we do one divided by this large number, which essentially gives us zero, okay? So that's the first one. The first one is zero. Okay. Next one is rolling a seven. So again, the probability of an event is the number of favorable outcomes divided by the total number of outcomes. So I have this, this demonstration here for seven. So all, all of these, it's about 36 options here. There's 36. So we're going to go through and find seven. One, two, Three, four, five, and six. So when we have these six options out of the 36, we can reduce that to one out of six, which gives us about 0 0.167. Okay, for the cards... Same thing. It says um, in a deck of 52 cards, what is the likelihood of drawing the ace of spades in one try? So let's find the ace of spades out of this whole deck of cards. So ace of spades. is one. So pretty much we have one out of a standard deck of cards, which is 52 which essentially gives us that 0 0.01923. Um, if we keep going and reduce it or simplify it, it's 0 0.0192. Okay. Coins. Um, same thing. It kind of goes into probability of an event is the number of favorable outcomes divided by the total number of, of outcomes. So two heads in a row. Um, so essentially, when we're flipping a coin, we have two options, either heads or tails. So our sample space is kind of going, this is the first row, and then this is the second row. So our outcomes, we can have heads and heads, heads, tails, tails, heads, and tails, tails. So if we kind of go through, we have four total options for our outcome, okay? So the probability says, what's the likelihood of flipping a heads twice in a row? This is the only outcome that has it twice in a row, which essentially means that we have one out of four, which gives us a probability of about 0 0.25. Okay, finally, we have the marbles. They say that you have a bag of three marbles, four blue marbles, five green marbles, and um, the three red marbles. Uh, so it says, what is the probability of pulling out a red marble three times in a row, assuming you put each marble back into the bag? So first we need to figure out what's the total amount. So we can just add it up. Three plus four plus five equals 12 marbles, okay? So out of that, the first one, we need to pretty much find the probability of doing a red the first time, probability of having it a second time, probability of having it a third time. So we're going to multiply these three together when we do that. And then finally, we're going to figure out, so out of how many total marbles would it be red? So out of 12 marbles, it would be three red each time. So we multiply three times 12 times three times 12 times three times 12. When we do that, we have um, a probability of 0 0.0156. 
if we go ahead and round that off. So that would be for that one. Okay. So to wrap it up, pretty much um, from most to least, we have the two heads in a row as 0.25. Um, the probability of rolling a seven was 0 0.167. Um, the probability of drawing the ace of spades was 0 0.0192. The probability with the marbles was 0 0.016. And then the lottery was at zero. So I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.